Taurus, welcome to your November 2024 general tarot reading. My name is Stacy. Thank you so much for being here with me today and watching. So let's take a shuffle here, Taurus, and see what energies might be coming up for you for the month of November. Keep in mind, these are general, general readings. So as I always say, take what resonates and leave the rest. Sorry, I got a lot of cards jumping out here, so I just want to accept them. Uh, anyway, take what resonates, leave the rest, Taurus. If you want a personal reading tailored to you, for you, all about you, you can get in touch with me on my website. And I'll be sure to put the link to that in the description box below. Also, Taurus, thank you so much for liking my videos, sharing out my content, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah, thank you. Just keep coming. So I'm sending the love back to you tenfold, Taurus. So thank you so much for that. Uh, don't forget you can watch for your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, or any other planet placement point that calls to you in the sign of Taurus. And you can watch for all your signs, pull all the in energy and information together, and it'll paint you a high level overview for the month of November. But yes, let's get started here because yeah, the cards are definitely talking and chattering. So let's get going here. Let me just organize them. Okay. Yeah, and for you, Taurus, uh, you know, before each and every reading, I clear the cards and I tune into your specific energy. Uh, one thing they showed me is like a big giant coin, almost like the Ace of Pentacles. I do not see it here, but that doesn't matter because I saw it on my hand. Um, so I think money is going to be good this month, and I'll dive into that in just a second here. Um, I'll cover that at the end of the month here. I'm already looking at the bottom of the deck because you have some really powerful messages there too. Okay, so Taurus, uh, let's see here, let's see here. Um, yeah, money is definitely on the mind. That's all I'm hearing and that's all I'm hearing chattering about is money, finances, property, investments, resources, chatter, 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 chatter. So you do you this month, Taurus. I'm feeling it's fine. Some of you have some, some decisions to make though. When it comes to your finances and resources, where are they going or who are they going to? Maybe it's time to rein those in. Um, so for I'll give you a really quick example because this could also be about kids this month or your kids or your money going to kids. So maybe instead of giving your kids, I don't know, like a thousand dollars a month or whatever you're doing, maybe it's time to put a thousand dollars a month in investments you know, 401k, RSPs, TFSAs, whatever. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's what they're showing me is like a switch of investments. Like where is your money, your time, your resources, your energy going to Taurus? Is that the best avenue? Is that the best path for your energy, for your resources? Because that's also an exchange, right? It might not be about money. It might be about an exchange of energy. Where is that going? Do you volunteer? Do you work? Do you work and volunteer? Do you have a side hustle? Do you have a business? Do you have people working for you? Like gut check yourself. Now is a time, I feel like November could be a time to reassess that. Because um, there's adjustments. You're being asked to adjust something at this time. Um, also, there might be small adjustments at home. Like the smallest adjustments at home could actually be really beneficial for you as well, Taurus. And I'll let you sit on that message because again, general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. But they're also showing me just minor adjustments in the home, even like feng shui, getting rid of old stuff, um, donating your th items or things like that. It's really going to be beneficial for you. It's going to change the energy in the home and going to allow new energy to find its way to you into your home. I feel like if you work out of your home or you work with homes, I think it's going to be really beneficial for you. Or if you're looking to become a real estate agent or a financial advisor or an accountant or a CPA, whatever the case may be, I feel like it's something to explore there because I feel like that could be really beneficial for you, Taurus. Okay, there might be disappointments. Did we already talk about this? Yeah, I feel like there might be disappointments this month. Again, I feel like your people could be putting a lot on you this month. So again, you do you, Taurus. You can handle a lot 
like you know your your sign you are represented by that gigantic bull that can literally hold the planet okay your energy can hold the planet you're an earth energy uh you're solid you're stable a lot of people come to you for advice or guidance or they rely on you again your time your energy your money whatever but I, I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to continue to hold that, if you want to continue to hold space for other people. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing, but when you're doing it for like, I don't know, dozens of people, do you, do you have to do that, Taurus? Like maybe it's time to be a little bit more selfish because I feel like it, it, it's the energy of disappointment. It's almost like you're you're disappoint you're disappointed you're exhausted by the end of the day because you're giving all your energy away to other people, which is great. Good for you. You and Cancer have something in common. You you both do that all the time. But what about you, Taurus? What's going to happen when you get run down and when you get sick, just like a common cold? What's going to happen then, right? What are all those people that rely on you? What are they going to do? You know, you're you're kind of useless, right? Um, to your business, to your kids, to your family, wh whatever this is. But anyway, I don't want to preach. I don't want to stay in that energy for long because I feel like I'm preaching to you. But it's coming up for a reason, Taurus. Just maybe something to think about this month. Um, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, the money's going to be there. If you're worried about money, money's going to be there, 100%. And some of you definitely, as I mentioned already before, investments are coming in strong buying selling anything to do with property real estate if you work in those fields of work even if you work like construction too oof, i think it's going to be off the charts this month for you taurus um i think like you know four of cups this is like getting offer after offer after offer and you might actually have to turn people away and say you know what i'm already building five homes on the go i only got so many people working for me um so I feel like this might even challenge you to change the structures of your business. Maybe hire more people just temporarily, right? Or hire more contractors. Um, what, whatever the case may be. I'm just using that as an example. But money looks good. And there's endings and new beginnings with money here. So again, we talked about the changing of investments. This could quite literally be a job as well. Like changing something to do with your job or place of employment. For those of you who own a business, there could be new people, like people leaving, new people coming in. Um, I think that would also be good. Yeah, very beneficial for you. Sorry, I'm getting so many messages. I can't, there's no way I can like natter off all these things. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, Taurus, is you have a full moon this month on or around the 15th, give or take a day or two, depending on where you are on the planet. Uh, 24 degrees of Taurus. So if you have anything around that degree point, actually Uranus is sitting there right <laughs> on this full moon as well, um, or next to this full moon as well, you'll be impacted greatly by this. But full moons, that's an ending. That's a culmination point. Something in your life, it's like endings and new beginnings, which is, you know, you have the Ten of Pentacles, that's an ending. I wanted to show you these two cards at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Ace of Cups is here. So new beginnings with home. Family, foundation, whatever this is for you, babies, pregnancy, blessings coming into the home, something to do with the home. But again, you've got to clean out the closet first before a new energy finds you. For those of you looking for love, same thing. What does your bedroom look like? What is, do you have two nightstands? If you do, is the potential partner's nightstand just filled with clutter, filled with like junk and crap? Clean it out. Pretend that you're setting it up for someone who's going to be joining you in the bedroom or joining you in the home. Clean it up, Taurus. You'd be surprised. I think Feng Shui, Feng Shui is going to be really beneficial for you this month. If you're interested in it, just Google, research it. I don't know a lot about it, um, but something to just keep in mind. Yeah, just something to keep in mind they're saying this month. Now, another thing, um, the call card here is Pluto. So one thing I wanted to just quickly gut check here is where is Pluto? Uh, so Pluto's moving into your 10th house of career. So yes, this is big news for you. 19 years of an overhaul transformation of career. Whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis, this is going to change. Um, 
even if you're thinking to yourself, there's no way, Stacey, my career's not going to change. I'm telling you right now, it's going to change. 19 years in your 10th house of career, if this is truly your 10th house of career and your midheaven goes through Aquarius, yes, it's definitely up for some change for the better for your highest good, which I absolutely love for you, Taurus. I'm not here to doom and gloom and scare you. I love this because the call is paired with a new beginning, regardless. Um, I can go on and on about this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop before I get on a soapbox again. But anyway, I this call card has been coming up a lot because Pluto is permanently now in Aquarius the month of November for the next 19 years. Uh, for you, top of your sky. So again, retirement is being highlighted here. Change of hobbies. Your part if if your parents are still with us, um, your parents' lives are gonna change place of living might change for them and or you, uh, changes in the home, changes with the family, you name it, just change, 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 but it'll be slow transformational change because it's 19 years, Taurus, 19 years of this. So, okay. And it, it could also mean, you know, heed the call, anything that you want to do, or you're getting that spark of insight, intuition. I feel like some of you are already leaning into that. And some of you will be over the next, um, I heard decade, but I was going to say the next couple years, the next few years, I would say like 2026, 2027, I'm being shown. So anyway, let's pull an Oracle card here for you, Taurus, and see, okay. All right, so there is your card for the month of November. Any messages, intuitive hits that comes your way? Um, that's your message. As long as it's positive, if it's negative, that's the mind chatter, negative Nancy mind taking over. So don't let that bombard your thoughts. Anything that pops out at you, jumps out at you with this card is, uh, your message. I think traveling would be beneficial for you, Taurus, or planning to travel, something to look forward to. Um, I would recommend, or I'm picking up more of a warmer, more, like humid, a climate for you in particular but definitely warmth I think would be beneficial for you as well so anyway Taurus I think it's going to be a yeah they're saying a monumental month so definitely a pivotal I think important month for you ahead so enjoy the month of November and we'll see you back here in December bye for now